All right, yogis, welcome back to Yoga Right Page. In today's flow, we are gonna do a little bit of a uh, morning warm up. So if you are one of those people that pops out of bed ready to go in the daytime, this flow is for you. It'll be quick and easy, really accessible, something for you to just get started with your day. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and meet on the mat. We'll actually start here um, just lying on our backs. So go ahead and lie all the way down taking a few moments to just connect with your breath. Likely you have just crawled yourself out of bed and maybe your body is still adjusting to being awake. So bring one hand to your belly and one hand to your heart, finding a nice big deep inhale to fill up your lungs, breathing in through your nose. A nice big deep exhale to empty completely, feeling a toning sensation through your core. And we'll do that two more times here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time here. Inhale. And exhale. And now slowly just begin to hug those knees into your chest, giving the knees a nice gentle squeeze as you rock here side to side. Just massaging out the back. Maybe you're feeling a little bit tight. I know I'm a side sleeper, so sometimes my shoulders actually feel a little bit tight when I wake up. So just check in. And then we'll take our hands on each knee and draw independent circles in one direction just to kind of open up the hips a little bit here. And then we'll go ahead and change the direction of that circle here. And then for your next round of breath, go ahead and squeeze those knees into your chest. You can curl your forehead up toward the knees, pull your navel down to the spine, and then press the legs away so they stack over your hips and bring the fingertips behind the ears with the elbows wide. Start to cinch the navel in so that you're already beginning to activate the core. Take a big deep inhale here. And on the exhale, we'll find a few bicycle crunches. Extend that left leg and curl your left elbow up towards your right knee, trying to avoid the right knee coming to your elbow. Inhale, center. And then on your exhale, extend the right leg, curl your right elbow to the left knee. Again, we're trying not to bring the knee in. Instead, you're trying to curl up. And then inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the left. We'll just got a few more rounds here just to make sure we are moving from the deepest core muscles here. Exhale. We just have two more. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Keep trying to pull that navel down towards the spine, feeling the lower back imprint on the mat. And that was it, yogis. You made it. Hug knees into your chest. Rock this here, side to side. You can grab the backs of the legs here, and I like to rock and roll along the length of your spine. If you're not quite ready to do this yet this morning, I totally understand. Just slowly start to curl yourself over, and then we'll eventually make our way into a tabletop position. So once you are in your tabletop position, you've got the hands planted underneath the shoulders, the elbow creases wrapped towards the front of your mat, and your navel is pulling into the spine to find that long, flat back. We'll just take a few rounds of cat-cow to continue this warm-up through our center. Tilt the pelvis, drop the ribs, pull your gaze all the way up and through. This is your cow pose. And exhale, navel to spine, chin to chest, cat pose. Just a few more times here. Inhale for your cow. And exhaling for your cat. One more round. Inhale. And exhale. When you're ready, you can come back to your strong neutral spine. We'll tuck the toes underneath, hover the knees up off of the mat just a couple of inches so we can continue to integrate the core with our movements. Creases of the elbows are wrapping forward and we're trying not to sag into the shoulders at all, but instead press the arms into the ground and then feel a slight rounding or puffing in the upper back. And we'll take one more breath here. And now when you're ready, you'll keep the knees bent. Just press your hands into the mat to send your hips up and back, finding a really nice long spine. Maybe nod your head yes here a couple of times, feeling the length on each side of your neck. And then we'll slowly begin to sink those heels down towards the ground, arriving in this first downward facing dog. So again, just taking note of how you feel this morning. Feel free to pedal out your feet. Nod your head yes or no. 
just find a little bit of connection all the way from the tips of your fingers to the tips of your toes. And then once you have worked out some of these kinks and some of the tension or maybe residual sleepiness in the body, you can begin to arrive in your downward facing dog. Take one more breath here, inhale. And let it go, exhale. On your next breath, we'll walk our hands to the feet, arriving at the back of your mat, coming into a forward fold. And we'll either press the fingertips into the mat or into your shins, depending on how your backside feels this morning, and lift your chest up nice and long so you feel a flat spine and length through your legs. And then on your exhale, we'll come down into a rag doll. So put a generous bend in the knees. We'll interlace our hands at the base of our skull here and just weigh side to side, maybe even shifting the weight forward and back into the balls of your feet and the heels of your feet. Hmm. Challenging your balance and exploring all the edges of your feet, this strong foundation. Take one more breath. Then on your inhale, we'll release the hands down to the ground, find a halfway lift, beginning to breathe in the energy that you wanna bring into the rest of your day. Exhale, let go. Tuck the chin to your chest, put a gentle bend in your knees, slowly rise all the way up to this mountain pose, gliding shoulders away from the ears, lift the palms, lift your gaze, and exhale, hands down to heart center. Taking a moment to stand within your strength, feel connected to your center, and set the intention, asking yourself what you will do to feel the way you want to feel. Hmm, what will I do to feel the way I want to feel? And take a moment to decide how you're going to show up in this practice this morning, how you're going to show up in your relationships today, how you are going to show up for yourself. Take one more breath. Seal that feeling in. And then inhale, circle sweep, arms up nice and high. Exhaling to swan dive, forward fold. Inhale to lift your chest up halfway, lengthening legs and spine. And then forward fold as you exhale. Trying to keep the backs of the legs nice and straight here. Walk yourself out into your high plank pose. Arriving in a high plank pose, turn the creases of your elbows forward, turn your gaze forward. And now we'll shift to the toes, exhaling slowly lower all the way down to the belly. And tuck the toes, feel the tops of the feet connect with the mat. Pubic bone down to the mat and allow the forehead to rest into the mat as well. Glide the shoulders away from the ears, squeeze the elbows, pressing through your hands, peel your chest up for that baby cobra. On the exhale, slowly lower your forehead down. Feet press down, pubic bone presses down. You feel length and activation through the legs and the core. Inhale, peel your chest back up to right where you were. And then slowly release. And now this time, we'll bring the arms alongside the body, roll the shoulders, squeeze the elbows, bring the big toes to touch with the feet down, the pubic bone down, slowly peel that chest up once more. And then once your chest feels good where it is, you can slowly float those legs up as well for your full locust pose. Take one more breath to lift and extend through the backside body. Keep everything where it is. Just bring your hands to where they would be if they were on the ground. Now, Set those hands down, squeeze the elbows in, pushing your hands into the mat, rock yourself up into almost a up dog. It's a blend between up dog and cobra. Beautiful yogis. Exhale, slowly lower it down. That should feel pretty nice. When you're ready, you can rock back to child's pose. Knees together will give you some space for the lower back. Knees wide will give you space in your hips. So you can decide how you want to feel this morning. Take one more breath and let it go remembering how you want to feel today particularly when you're done with this practice when you're ready you can shift forward tuck your toes and send your hips back and up into that downward facing dog so we'll lift our heels this time bend the knees and yogi's choice if you want to step or walk forward into your forward fold inhaling halfway lift lengthen legs and spine and then forward fold Breathing in, connecting with how you want to feel today. And then exhale, let everything that doesn't serve that purpose just go. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthening legs and chest. 
Exhale to plant your hands. We'll step back into high plank pose. This time we'll find chaturanga. Inhale, lift, shift forward. Exhale, elbows into the side body. Scoop the chest through, finding an upward facing dog if you're ready or cobra if you still want that. And exhale back, downward facing dog. Take a big breath here, inhale. And open your mouth, let go, exhale. We have two more here, inhale. And exhale, feeling that body begin to wake up. The last one. And let it go. Now we'll move into a sun B. When you're ready, lift your heels, bend your knees. And you can continue to walk forward. If you want to hop, you can as well. Inhale to lift your chest up halfway. Exhaling, forward fold. Bring your big toes to touch. We'll root to rise, strong mountain pose. Lift all the way up, inhale. And now as you exhale, bend your knees. Bring your fingertips to the mat to find the height of your chair pose. And then pull your chest up and through. Pull the navel in, pull the ribs in. Feel the length through that lower back. Starting to feel a little bit of heat build into the body now. Take one more breath. Stand all the way up, lift the chest high, and now exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands and step back to that high plank pose. Shift forward to your toes, finding your chaturanga elbow squeeze into the rib cage. Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra. Exhaling back, downward facing dog. Take a moment here to breathe in and breathe out. We'll modify this one and then we'll do a full sun B on the next one. On your inhale, float your right leg high to the sky. And then exhale, step that foot all the way through between your hands. Let the left knee travel down to the mat, untuck your toes, and we'll rise up for a low lunge. Let the hips hang heavy and start to pull your chest up and through, expanding through the front side of your body, feeling some activation in the back side. One more inhale. Now exhale, plant your hands. We'll step forward into our forward fold. Inhaling, halfway lift, lengthen legs and chest. Exhaling all the way back down. We'll root to rise, mountain pose, palms touch, gaze lift. And right away, exhale, swan dive down. Inhaling, halfway lift, lengthen legs and chest. Exhale, plant your hands, step the right leg back. Allow the right knee to connect with the mat. Untuck your toes, scoop up for this low lunge. Palms can come to touch, hips are low as you open up through your chest, feeling this opening. And now plant your hands. We'll step back into high plank pose this time. Shift forward to your toes, chaturanga on the exhale. Scoop your chest through, inhaling upward facing dog. And exhale it back, downward facing dog. We'll take three breaths here to reset, inhale and exhale two more notice how your body is reacting and adjusting to this wake-up period one more allowing that intention to be sewn through your body and now we'll flow through the sunbeam lift your heels bend your knees if you're ready you can go ahead and hop forward or step forward inhale halfway lift Exhale all the way down. Root to rise, mountain pose. Inhale, palms touch, gaze lifts. And then we'll bend those knees to find the height of our chair. Inhaling, chair pose. On your exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen legs and spine. Exhaling, plant your hands if you want to. You can hop it back or step it back, chaturanga. Inhaling, upward facing dog. And exhaling it back, downward facing dog. Right away here, we'll inhale, float the right leg high to the sky, three leg dog. And then exhale, step that foot as far forward as you can between your hands. Spin the left toes out, left heel down. Rise up as you wrap that right hip back, finding your big strong warrior one pose. Right shoulder draws back, palms can touch and gaze can lift as you release anything that's holding in the body. Take one more breath here, inhale. Then exhale, plant the hands. We'll step back into our high plank pose. Shifting forward to your toes, exhale, chaturanga. Scoop your chest through, inhaling, upward facing dog. And exhale back, downward facing dog. 
Nice yogis, right away here, inhale, float that left leg high. Exhale to step that foot all the way up and through between your hands. Spin the right toes out, right heel down. Root to rise, wrapping your left hip back into this really big open warrior one, squaring your shoulders towards the front edge of your mat. Expanding through the front side of your body, waking it up. And then exhale, plant your hands. Step back, high plank pose, shift forward to the toes, chaturanga, exhale. Inhaling upward facing dog. And exhale it back, downward facing dog. Good, yogis. Now, hopefully you feel a little bit more awake, a little bit more in tune with how you want to feel today. So we'll just slowly start to settle down so we can go about our day. Walk your feet forward to the top of your mat and begin to make your way down into a seat. Once you are down onto your seat, you can hug your knees into your chest and find a nice gentle rock here side to side. Feeling some of that breath as your lungs expand, some of the blood coursing through your veins, feeling a moment of gratitude for this life, this opportunity to live through yet another day. And now we'll take our peace fingers onto the big toes. Bring the elbows inside those knees, and then you can use your arms to spread those knees nice and wide and allow your lower back to melt down to the ground. Then once you find your happy baby pose here, you're welcome to rock it out side to side, getting a little gentle hip opener here before we go about the day. Good, yogis, take one more breath. And then we'll release the grip on the toes. Use your hands to squeeze those knees back into your chest. And then we'll press the knees away so that they're making a tabletop while you're on your back. You can open your arms out wide into their T. And we'll start by dropping our legs over to the right. And your gaze can turn to the left. Melt this left shoulder down into the ground. Taking a big deep breath to feel the broadening sensation through your chest. Your right hand can rest on this top thigh if you want to just deepen the twist a little bit more. We'll take one more inhale. And exhale, feeling all of that space you've created. Good, yogis, inhale, come back through center. Hug your knees into the chest, squeeze it in. And now we'll press the knees away. Open the arms back out into their really broad T, dropping our legs to the left this time. Your gaze can turn over to the right hand and your left hand can rest on that top thigh. So you're feeling this broadening sensation through the chest, maybe even a very gentle pack opener on that right side. And you're feeling the spine unravel and imbibe. Take one more breath here. When you're ready, we'll hug those knees back into our chest, squeezing it in nice and tightly. You can take a nice big deep inhale here to fill up your lungs. And when you are ready, expand out, arriving here in a nice breeze shavasana before we go about our day so relieve any activation in the body feeling this sense of relaxation once more connecting to how you want to feel today allowing this to be the drumbeat for the rest of your day and the way you show up not just for the people around you but most importantly for yourself stay here for a little longer you are welcome to however if you're ready to move on with the rest of your day inhale to reach the arms all the way overhead finding that full body stretch and when you're ready you can roll over to your side pausing for a round of breaths and then press yourself up into a nice comfortable seat you can draw your hands to heart center eyes close the bow on the forehead in gratitude for sharing your practice the teacher and the light in me honors the teacher and the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for being here, Yogi. I hope that you enjoyed this morning flow and you can come back to it again and again just to get your day started in a really nice way. 
If you like these videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. We post weekly and we're always open to your feedback. So feel free to drop a message in the comments below or even a request. Until next time, peace.